Now, in Israel, none, absolutely none of these limitations or these checks and balances on the judicial branch apply. So to be specific, with regard to appointments, uh, only in Israel is there actually veto power to the Israeli Supreme Court on the appointment of new Supreme Court judges. Okay, you, there's a committee of nine people, three of which are judges, sitting judges, active judges, on the Supreme Court. And you need seven out of nine, which means that effectively the three justices who are sitting on that committee have veto power over any new uh, appointment to the court, which does not exist in any country in the world, with the exception of possibly India, Turkey, and Greece. But other countries in the world do not have that limitation. Secondly, with regard to standing, in Israel, anybody who comes to the court can petition the court, just to bring you an extreme, uh, uh, extreme example of that. Recently, <coughs> Israel's policy with regard to immigration from the Ukraine to Israel was challenged in the court by a petition from the ambassador of Ukraine. In no other country would the ambassador of a foreign country have standing in the court. Standing in the court is only for those who are directly and personally affected. Uh, justiciability, what are the matters that the court can deal with. Uh, Barak has said that the court has justice, there is justiciability over all matters. Hakol Shafit is the right, including matters of war and peace, which does not exist in any other country. The question is also what are the grounds on which the court can intervene with government actions? And in other countries, for example, Let's take the United States. As I said, only in the case of arbitrary and capricious rulings can the court involve itself, intervene in, matter, in administrative matters. In Israel, if the courts disagree with the reasoning of some administrative body, the court will intervene. And I'm going to bring specific examples of that. And of course, in other countries, other countries are bound by, the courts are bound by the constitution of the country. If there is no constitution, such as in Commonwealth countries, the court can recommend, but cannot actually disqualify particular rulings. And in countries where there is a constitution, the court is bound by the constitution. In Israel, this is not the case. In Israel, the court can actually or has actually, not can, but has assumed for itself the responsibility <laughs> of ruling on the constitutionality of basic laws, which are in fact the constitution of Israel. So every single one of the limitations that there are in other countries, the checks and balances that there are in other countries on the court's power do not exist in Israel. The court has absolutely unchecked and unbalanced power in Israel.